Hello, Jim again. It's still Wednesday officially, but I decided to do my video today and upload it today, even though I am the Thursday person. And I'm sorry for that, but tomorrow I'll be like gone the entire day, and I don't know when I will be coming back. Um, so I don't really have any time to upload this video tomorrow or Friday right now. Um. Sorry, by the way, if I have any toothpaste, like, around my mouth somewhere, but I just brushed my teeth. So, yeah. Interesting, sorry. Interesting news. Right. Um, so this week's theme is models in life. Morals. Things we value. Things we like about ourselves. Morals, to begin with that. I think morals are pretty important. I think that morals are needed in this world. Um, well, respect is a very important moral. Like, I mean, we must respect each other, or try to respect each other, even though we're not, like, the same. And have the same views and thoughts on things in life. Um, um, honesty, like, it's very important, which is also kind of a motto. Like, you know, honesty is the best policy. It sounds a little bit cheeky, but it's true. And I'm not always like, honest about things but most of the time I am so that's good but yeah honesty is the best policy and I think my phone just shook and I think it's very much important to be honest in life um, we must be brave in life we must stand up for ourselves our communities our friends our loved ones, our families. We have to be brave. We be outspoken. We must have courage and those kinds of things. Um, those are very important morals. Be polite is also a very important moral. Um, like thieves, like models or something. Well, I just said honesty is the best policy, it's very good, kill them with kindness, like, even though someone's disrespectful of you, or hating on you behind your back, for some reason, you always have to stay mature about it, and not go tackle them, or try to kill them, or something, very important, um, Uh, we have in Holland. We have like this saying. Then it goes. Um, uh, oh wait, I can't remember. Um, but you need to build that je geschiet. Do dat ook een ander niet. And it rhymes in Dutch. And I don't really know how to exactly translate it to English, but um, it means something like whatever you like things you don't want happening to you are things you shouldn't put on others shouldn't do to others which I think is very um, a very good sentence in life um, um, these mottos my gender is fuck you I just did I just did I just swear on a gender group gang? I'm sorry. But my no, my gender is fuck you, it's also very good. Are you a man or a woman? No. It's also very good. And very catchy on this channel. Um If you can beat them, join them. Those are all a little bit cliche, a little bit catchy and a little bit sticky and whatever. Um, so yeah, do I have, 
uh, other things to say on that no everything I just said was really everything I wanted to say I think my hair looks really bad I just got out of the shower and I don't have any hair products in it and I'm so um, um, things I like about myself well it's always very easy to say things about yourself that you don't like or don't appreciate but thinking about what you what you actually do like about yourself is pretty hard. But I'll give it a try. I think I have a good sense of humor. I can make people laugh. Um, I'm a very good listener. I mean, it's always easy to try to solve other people's problems. So you're always better at that. But I think I can. I can help people solve their problems and talk about things with them. Um, I'm also very trustworthy, which has already been said a couple of times, I think. Um, um, I like how I'm very good at analyzing things, although that's sometimes a bad thing because I overanalyze and I'm not very impulsive, which in my opinion is a good thing and also a bad thing. but. It's good to think about things before you actually do them. Because I, I did, like in my past, I used to do things before actually thinking. And it really got me into problems, trouble sometimes. So I think that's a good thing that I've learned about myself. Um, I'm very open. I've gotten more open when I grew up. I took puberty. I know I'm in puberty again. But I was very, I like built a brick, like a wall around me, and I still do, and many people have let me down, but I'm still gonna give them a shot, you know, I still try to, although it's very hard sometimes, I don't easily trust people, but I do, I am open-minded, and I, I'm outspoken, and I say that I when I want to. Um, I like my height, although I wasn't really happy about that before. I'm 5.7, which I think is cool. Um, I like my pants. I like my butt, although it's a little bit fat, ever since I started testosterone. That's one thing I like for myself on the outside. Although, now there's some peachy fuzz on it because of the testosterone. But I still think I had a cute butt. I'm reliable most of the time. I like how I have a re very de detailed memory, like how you said it in English, like look. For example, when I'm on a plane and I go on a holiday vacation for two weeks in Turkey and there's like this, this, this family that's on the plane as well and then you um, you each go on your own way when you are like at your um, destination, like you had your holiday and they are theirs but then you meet them, like you're somewhere else in this country or area and then you see those people and you can instantly remember where they were on the plane, that they were on the plane, what they were wearing, where they were going, or what they were saying, what they were doing, those kinds of things. And I like how I am very good at remembering song lyrics. Like, within 10 seconds I do that. And for the rest, there's not really much I like about myself. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's really about it. See you next time, I hope. Bye.